Oh yeah, it worked. Uh, there's one, one more. It might be hard. It might be like you never know. Sometimes they're hard. Sometimes they're easy enough. Well, yeah, let's do another one. Given the perfect as a hot chocolate, the elf have new problem. Like goblins, they live in these caves. Will do anything to steal. It looks like they are here for a fight. Scan the area, generating a map of the walls. Open cavern. Okay, we're playing. Uh, with rogue. Uh, what's the name for like this text style RPG where you walk a dungeon and everything is a ski? Um, balls, open cavern, goblin, and elf. Combat proceeds in rounds, and each round which means it is still alive. Take a turn, resolving all of its action before the next unit's turn begins. On each unit's turn, it tries to move into a range of an enemy if it isn't already, and then attack if it is in range. Wow. Yeah. Actually, probably visualizing this would be really cool. Uh, oh my god, no, this is long, long thing. But yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's, it might be fun, uh, but not have work, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, all units are very disciplined and always follow very strict combat rules. And units never move or attack diagonally, as going so would be dishonorable. When multiple choices are equally valid, ties are broken in reading order, top to bottom, left to right. For instance, in order, the order in which units take the turns within a round is the reading order of the starting positions in that round, regardless of the type of unit or whether the units have moved uh, after the round started, for example. So, yeah, so you read this uh, and then going to left, top to bottom, left to right, you, each unit begins its turn by defining all possible targets enemy units. If no targets remain, combat ends. Then the unit identifies all of the open squares that are in range of each target. These are the squares which are adjacent. I actually want to skip to input. Okay, yeah, just curious of the puzzle. Okay, so yeah, fair enough. It's it's a, it's a map, all right. Okay, yeah, uh, it, it would be extremely cool to visualize it. Um, probably in terminal, but maybe we can use ski for it as well. I don't, I, I haven't decided yet, but we can, we can, we, we certainly can. Actually, I actually have like, huh. Maybe we should use Kia for that, right? Create a graphical window and like draw goblins and elves. That might be cool. It might be cool. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I have a repo ready. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but let me read first. Okay, it's a long task, but it's probably fun to implement. Um, okay, then. Then the unit identifies all the open squares that are in the range of each target. These are squares which are adjacent immediately up, down, left, right to any target. In then the unit identifies all open squares that are in the range of each target. So it basically goes to targets. Okay, uh, to any target and which aren't already occupied by a wall as a unit. Apparently, the unit might already be in range for target. If the unit is not already in range for target and there are no open squares which are in range for target unit and this turn. If the turn is already in range for target, it does not move, but continues its turn with an attack. Right, since it's not in range for target, it moves. To move, the unit first considers the squares that are in range and determines which of the squares it could reach in the fewest steps. A step is a single movement to any adjacent immediately. Uh, units can't move into walls of other units. The unit does this while assuming the current position of units. Oh my god, is this we, we, can, we have to implement like a star or something? Oh my god, it's, it's a whole project. Uh, but yeah, we started it, so we have to finish it as well. It will be fun, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so. Um, Okay, to move first, consider the squares that are in range and determines which of those squares it could reach in fewest step. A step is a single movement to any adjacent. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so basically, like, elf looks at goblin, looks at from which position it can attack this goblin, right? Okay, yeah, so it's like in range here, reachable. Not everything is reachable because he can walk through goblin. Uh, then it has nearest, and he chosen one of them. Okay, um, <laughs> link can move the walls and units, then he doesn't do does this while continuing the current position of units and does not do any prediction about the unit will go later. If the unit can increase or find past to any squares at range, then store multiple squares and range and tight for being reachable in the fewest steps. The square which is the first in reading order is chosen, for example. Okay, cool. In the above scenario, the elf has three targets, the three goblins. Each of the goblins has open and adjacent squares which are in range. Mark it with a question on the map. Of the squares for a reachable, mark it at yeah, okay, so this is uh, pretty much clear. Oh, hi, fellow Lisper, hi. Uh, hey, Commander Trash Dean. My webcam is unfocused. Yes, I don't know why it keeps doing it. I, I wish I could just like lock focus in, but seems like I can't. It's very unfortunate, yeah, you can notice that it goes back and forth. I think it's, it become better when I moved, uh, like, zoomed in a little bit, right? I hope, I hope so. Okay, the unit then takes a single step towards the chosen square along the shortest path to that square. If multiple steps would put unit in equally closer to the destination, the unit chooses a step which is first in reading order. This requires knowing when there is more than one shortest path so that you can consider the first... Oh my god, for example. It's not a star, it's fucking... We actually have to choose all the paths. Okay, this is, makes it harder, but okay. The elf sees three squares in range of a target, right? Two of which are nearest. And the first is nearest chosen. Okay, so this one. Okay, under distance, each open square is marked with its distance from the destination square. The two squares to which elf could move this turn down and to the right are both equally good moves and would leave the elf two steps from being in range to, of the goblin. Because the step which is first in ring order is chosen, the elf moves right one square. Okay. Um, so basically it can go boom, boom, boom to the right and then down, or it can go down and then boom, boom to the right, right? And like it has two options, two equal options, and it chooses first and move to the right. Okay, we actually, it's not that bad, probably. Uh, but we probably have to, like, for each unit, we build a map of distances from it, right? And then use this map, and then throw it away for next step, probably. Oh my god. Okay, here is a larger example of movement. Uh, after one round, two rounds, three rounds, once the goblins and elf reach the position above, they all either in range of target or cannot find any square in range of target, and so none of the units can move until a unit dies. Okay, and can't... After moving, or if the unit began its turn in range of target, the unit attacks. Attacks the unit first determines all the targets are in range. If there are no such targets, the unit ends its turn. Otherwise, just a target with the fewest hit points is selected. Uh, oh, is there hit points? Oh my god, there are also hit points. Oh, why? Why? Why, 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 why? 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, is gives uh, hit points uh, in the first ring order selected. The unit does damage equal to its attack power. 
uh, so the selected target reducing its hit points by that amount. If this reduces its hit point to zero or fewer, the selected target dies, its square becomes dot, and it takes no further turns. Each unit, either goblin or elf, has three attack power and starts with 200 hit points. For example, suppose the elf is about the attack, so elf kills this goblin with two. Yes, the HP column shows the hit points the goblin's left, and the elf is in range of three targets, the goblin above is 40 points, and goblin is right. Yay, we can uh, we can draw health bars. <laughs> okay. Um, and the goblin above weight goes forward, the goblin is right with two hit points, goblin below is also two hit points, so it attacks bottom one. After attacking goblins, how the unit's turn ends, the next unit in the round takes its turn. If all units have taken turns in this round, the round ends and your round begins. Okay, they also look quite outnumbered. You need to determine the outcome of the battle. The number of full rounds that were completed, not counting the round in which combat ends, multiplied by the sum of the hit points of all remaining units at the moment combat ends. Combat only ends when a unit finds no target during its turn. Um, Okay, below the entire sample combat, next to each map, each row, units, hit points are listed from left to right. Okay, so these guys hit each other. This goblin hits probably elf, right? Boom, 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 and ensues, eventually the top elf dies, like this guy dies, okay. Because, yeah, because three goblins are attacking him, right? Uh, after 24 rounds, so I think... Why, why aren't goblins, like, moving to... Oh, yeah, because, like, oops, because it's immediately the next turn, okay. Yeah, the goblins are moving, closing on this guy. Um, and he's fucked, <laughs> basically. Yeah, here's two, yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, eventually bottom elf dies. Before the 48th round can finish, the top left goblin finds that there are no target remaining, so combat ends, so the number of four rounds that were completed is 37, and the sum of the hit points for remaining units is blah blah blah. So you sum the hit points from this that comes to battle is 47, blah blah blah. Here are a few examples. For example, summarized combats. Okay. Ah, so we have some examples to test our application cool, 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 cool. okay um, wow yeah this is like this is something but I, I kind of like this sort of thing right and what we are going to do is we are probably going to actually draw everything so we are going to this and uh, this is pretty much in development. This is my closure UI framework and it can't do much. I can show you what it can do, but let me uh, how to start. Oh no, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So this is how we start and it's it can draw text, so yeah, it's it it doesn't matter. It it it, it has full access to Skia, so like it doesn't matter really. We can, we can use it, and hopefully because we can uh, link to SHA, we don't need a release of it, and it doesn't have a release yet. But we can create Windows, and that's all we care about, right? Okay, cool. Um, 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 um. Uh, this is what we are going to use. And this, since this is a project, actually. Actually, you know what? Let me add the folder here for now. So that we have something to steal. Okay, so we probably need this. Uh, 
let's call it day 15 okay uh-huh 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 okay uh, so we have some examples we need to draw stuff right maybe use some tile set yeah but uh, what i'm trying to say if since it's a project uh, we'll probably go i'll probably go and make some tea before we start We probably can steal from the power fortress, right? They should have some good screenshots in here. I saw a few streams and I kind of like the graphics. If you can get, or maybe, yeah, this is a full resolution sync. No, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, yeah, but uh, maybe if we can steal it from Stardew Valley, for example. I don't know. Let's make some tea and start drawing a map. Yeah, uh, this looks like this looks useful, right? Uh, we can use floors. We can use probably walls or something uh, we need bricks actually but this is kind of like brick no this is bricks yeah we're gonna use this and for floor we can use i don't know this okay well, yeah let me make tea and i'll be back
Okay, let's go. Um, so what I figured, so the first thing that we need certainly is we need to parse a map, right? Right. Um, and produce some data structure with it. Then we need to draw it. Okay, so let's say we actually, you know what we what we need is something like this. Oh, this is visualization. We don't need it yet. Okay, so the first thing is I figured that uh, map doesn't change, right? But elves and goblins do. So maybe it makes sense not to store goblins inside a map. So we store like map uh, as a map in one layer and goblins and elves into the other layer, right? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is, okay, so let's say we have some examples, right? A few examples. Summarized goblins. So, like, this is one example, right, of the map. Uh, def example one. We, what we do is we do this. Okay, so this is our example. Okay. And what we need is we need to parse example, right? And make it into a map. So I imagine our game structure will be like record. Actually, like map could be a bit set because it's either uh, floor or not floor, but whatever. <laughs> let's say, let's make a a record called game and what we have will have map we'll have goblins elves right and we'll probably need a turn something like that uh, goblins elves and we also like we need the unit we because we store this in different two different things we don't care really um so our unit will be uh will have hp and probably that's it do we need id i don't think we need id right why why would we need id Oh, it will need a position, right? Or the X, Y, okay. Um, yeah, so it will need a position. Do we want to make a record for position? Yeah, well, probably. The record. This boss. Uh, this is because we'll probably be passing this around a lot okay so we make it let's make it long because the closure likes longs a lot and we need a re ripple yeah it works cool 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 cool, cool. okay so we have position game unit and what we also need like goblins for example we have position we also need like a a map back from like goblins it might be just a list of goblins or it might be positioned to goblins like this right position to elves this can also be sorted maps, kind of. If we if we make this sortable, let me see how we make it sortable. Comparable, comparable T. Okay. So we need to compare to. Uh, 
so like reading order means wise if our y is smaller than y okay, actually make no it won't work okay but um, if our i y is smaller than we return minus one if it's bigger we return plus one if our x is smaller we return minus one if our x is bigger we return plus one um, else we return zero like this okay uh it even works which is uh, amazing i think okay now uh, we need to parse parse okay uh we take input right oh wow wow the white spaces we don't need white spaces in our input okay but um, okay let lines split input slash n right so our height is count lines our width is count first lines let's see if we um didn't work mm, this needs to be seven seven seems okay um yeah we probably need also like with height or not or not or not or not or not, or not. Yeah, okay. Do we need recent height? Yeah, probably. We probably don't, right? Okay, so um, hmm. I want kind of to use bit set because it's kind of. Is it, is it set it to false? Creates all bits initially false. Okay, yeah. Wait. Does it have like size? It has length. Uh-huh, okay. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Uh, we don't really care. Okay, so uh, map is going to be bit set uh, of uh, this height, right? Uh, it, it's all set to let's say this is just goblins and elves, right? Um, what we're going to do is loop. We are going to go through each line, then through each uh, actually going to go through y is zero, x is zero, okay. We're going through that. Uh, 
Um, so this is our exit condition uh, in which we create a new game, right, map, uh, goblins, elves, and zero. Okay, this is our exit condition. So if x is bigger than width, actually it's bigger or equals uh, recall in y zero goblins else. Okay, and now okay um hmm. this is what i'm going to do i'm going to open actually let me just go to here i have a macro that i very much like and i bring it whenever i go uh, so we're going to do is have a core name space and and this is yeah like this core.tlj this is a macro that we need um, we are going to require it here okay control b yeah, because we haven't finished it, but uh, this works, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the cont plus. What cont plus allows us to do is, is to do this. Um, okay, so what we want to do is um, lines y and lines x. So this is our tile, right? And depending on which tile we get, uh, it might be like this. So that means it's a wall. So what we do is do our, yeah, yeah, we, 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 okay, because map is mutable, we set bit index radius, right radius. Okay, so we set map um we need index right so it's y multiplied by weights plus x and then just record with well actually y ink x goblins else Next, if tile is just a dot, it means we don't do much, we just recur. Um, if tile, so it's either G or E now, right? So it's if it's a G, it's a goblin. So what we do is a soak goblins um, pause X, Y. And we create a unit with, we don't need pause here, right? So basically our unit is just HP. We don't need a unit, not really. Right. And start HP is 100 if I, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, 200. This unit in government has three attack power, start with 200 hit points, okay. Uh, we might need attack power later, but for now, let's, let's stay simple. Okay, uh, oops. 
I keep pressing <laughs> weird uh, keys. Okay, and finally, if it's an elf, we do the same, but with elves, right? And this covers everything, I think. Bit set, okay, so it doesn't know about bit set. So uh, let's import. This is very weird that Java classes are not imported. Oh, Java util, that's why. Yeah, uh, now it works. Uh, let's see if we can parse. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 14. No, this is not right. Uh, this is right, but we also need Huh. This, this looks wrong, but yeah, who cares? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. You do you? Yeah, I don't. Okay, now now it's time to actually render this this thing. Uh, and to do that, this is this is where fun begins, right? So we need some some stuff like that. Actually, it's, it might be tricky, but yeah. What we actually need is a main method. Okay, so it looks like this. Uh, yeah, the reason for this is we need to start on the first thread. Uh, that okay. Um, we need some imports like Andreapple and also probably something like that. We definitely need key. We don't need that. We need that for sure. Uh, and we need some imports in here for sure. Again, probably not this event frame. What the fuck? No, we probably don't need that. We might need that. Might not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Window. No, it doesn't look like we need a window. Not really. Okay, uh, so we don't need that. We will need skier. We, we won't need. HP, I don't know, maybe at some point we will need HP, but let's... I also don't remember, think about... We'll probably need image, let's, let's say that. Okay. Uh, we'll probably need image. Okay, 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 okay. And now we need to create to create, to create a window. Okay, so to create a window, what we do? This is like a REPL friendly window, kind of. So we do this. We implement on paint, which is for us is going to be like bound when you bound. Let's say we need bounce for some reason, okay? Uh, we don't need that. Okay, so on point is okay-ish. We also need make window. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we window canvas. So I think we can do this. Uh, 
Let's just call it goblins versus elves, right? Is it visible true? Is it order floating? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think it's a good idea yet. Maybe in the future. Okay, but... Um, this is something that we might need in our comment section. So this one closes window, this one creates new window, Just change title, no, I don't think so, make it floating, maybe, maybe, okay, so let's see, uh, we don't have humble UI, yeah, that's correct. So what we are going to do is we're going to have this, but instead we're going to actually call advent of code year 2018, day 15. We're going, we're going to have our own And we're going to depend on SRAM tools, depths, SRAM. Okay, um, maybe in here. Okay, this is what we need. Uh, git slash SRAM. And this is going to be be called, uh, let me see how it's called, I don't know, I don't know how it's called, um, uh, humble UI, we don't, de wait, what? We don't depend on skia, how, how is it we don't depend on, ah, oh, because, yeah, because I use this, so this is what it's probably going to be called, Yes, and SHA that we need, we can take from here. Okay. Um, I don't think it depends on, yeah, it's very weird. Oh, I know why, I know why, because these are like platform dependent. Okay, yes, this is bad. <laughs> okay, but uh, no, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so we do this. It's not bad for, it's bad for anyone who is going to try to run it, but not for us. Skij Mac OX ARM64 and version 0960. Okay. Okay, so this is what we need for maybe aliases. Yeah, that's aliases. And alias that we are going to use here is going to be humble UI, right? And it's going to be extra depths. Okay, so we need this. Um, minus a humble UI. Okay, this is what we are going to do. Kitch motor plus six script run script run eighteen day fifteen. Okay, it didn't work. Some analysis are undeclared and are not being used. Humble UI. What do you mean? 
Okay, and it didn't work because we forgot to to run on the first thread. Yeah, uh, this is this is quite annoying. <laughs> Let me say that, but fixable. Yay! So we have a window now. Uh, window is here. Maybe we want to make it smaller. Uh, how much do you think we need? Maybe not. Uh, so my plan is actually to place it, for example, here, right? And make it maybe this size. Let me see. Yeah, this should be all right, yes. Yeah, okay, so we make it this size. It's about, how much is it about? Five, six. Okay, 600 by 600. Um, yeah, and let's go here, uh, set size. I don't think I have, size yeah I don't have set size okay but we can make it um, in your Java set set content size yeah we have set content size okay cool uh, so what we can do is set content size window JVM window window Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Make this. Um, so we want to make it six hundred by six hundred. We make it floating and we make it like this. We connect and we call this. Yeah, uh, ah, fuck. Yeah, I forgot because um, it's actually, let's make it thousand by thousand because this is not close. We make a new one. Okay, we don't have many. Uh, we have one. Yeah, we don't need that one. Okay, so this will be our window, and it will be floating, which I think is. Oh, you won't be see. You won't be able to see evaluation results. Well, too bad, too bad. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, and now the the, the the trick is if we change on paint, and actually we can even do. Oh, uh, why is it not floating? Okay. Because what? Oh, I don't have. Why? Oh, because I don't return window. Oh, yeah, I see why. Okay, so it it's and we need this and we need this. <laughs> okay, and we probably need also like. Um, uh, make position now we don't care about position right not right now okay so we make this we find a window we close it we close it i say okay and then we go here and we reset it make it into desired position the plan is we'll no, never going to close this window anymore like it will yeah it will be floating here and now like let's see so Let's say I make this red and I do yeah 
it works right so once we change and paint um, this the thing on the right changes i'll probably hmm. uh, one alternative is to actually make request frame in here and now whenever we change this should be yeah it, it works now okay so we'll keep this okay now now whenever i change this I redefine this uh, our window redraws and stays on top and this is perfect setup the one that we actually want now it's time to steal some textures okay so what we want is i probably want this i don't understand like why is this here is it it's not looped right <coughs> this one is looped i think okay let's say we save this image to our advent of code source year okay let's say let's make in in inputs right day 15 okay so we call it stones then we need walls somehow so what do you think this ones or this ones probably this ones right uh stones wall okay let's rename stones to Uh, floor and we need we also need goblin and elf oh my god where i'm going to take them oh probably they are units right the units somewhere here there, should, there must be There is some like something like cave in this game. I remember I, I played it. Huh. Oh yeah, the monsters. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what we need right so which one is going to be goblin don't exactly have goblins here but we have skeleton okay so skeleton is going to be our goblin that's is this oh my god is animated yeah move it like that Hmm. There's also mommy. Okay, yeah, maybe let's call this goblin. And we need elf. Uh, so elf is something green, right? Maybe you can just use this face. It'd be easier. Okay, yeah, let's use this as a goal because it's, it's going to be small, so yeah, that's probably better fit. Yes, replace. And elf, and elf, and elf. Is there a face that looks like elf? Maybe slime? Or this? <laughs> no, not really. I don't know. Red elf, green slime. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this guy. 
Uh, it's kind of ugly, but um, we can also convert it. Right. Uh, there must be like hue adjustments and something like that. Color adjustments. There must be hue somewhere. And we can make it green, I think. Yeah, this looks like uh, elf. All right, cool. So we have our goblin, we have our elf, we have floor, we have wall. We can actually draw something. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, another thing that I want to do is to see. So it's one twenty-eight. It's one twenty-eight, and this one is forty. By 48. Okay, so floor is kind of big, but it's kind of repetitive, right? There are four textures in here. We can actually don't need this. It's actually 64 by 64. And same probably with this. Um, so let's go here. And we need to kind of size 64 by 64. A line here. Okay, this is our floor and this is our wall. Okay, so it's 64 by 64, which is perfectly fine. Okay, and we probably want these guys to be the same size, so I'm just going to increase the size artificially by adding some pixels. Okay, cool. So we have our sprites. Uh, we'll probably what we want to do image make raster. No, this is not what we need. Uh, there must be from bitmap, from encoded. Yeah, I think what we need is image from encoded. Or, yeah, it's probably image make from encoded, right? Um, hmm. What does slurp? Slurp reads, but not bytes. And we have also bitmap, bitmap, java. Make from image. No, yeah. Uh, make from encoded. Files, read all bytes, pass off. Yeah, so that's how you need. That's how you do it. Which is not exactly super cool, but it's okay. Okay, so what we need to do here is def uh, sprite floor, for example, right? And what we need to do image from it, files read all bytes, pass off. So problem is we need to create a pass. Pass is extremely annoying to make. Yeah. Unfortunately, slurp converts to string, so it doesn't work for us. But we can actually take a look at how does it work. No, okay, so output stream. 
Yeah, we can actually do... Well, it's annoying, it's annoying. Okay, but uh, bear with me. Uh, so how to read all... Well, maybe this is uh, simplest. So we need Java... Java Neo files and pass, right? Yeah, okay, so let's go pass. The it pass off is annoying because it takes array of strings and it's hard to create inputs. What we need inputs year two eighteen year two thousand eighteen. Day 15, floor PNG, right? Yeah, no such namespace, yeah, it's figured. Our files is in Java Neo file. Okay, now actually I can make it like this, so you will see evaluation results. I can remove this. Okay, um, <laughs> well, actually, you know what, we can do it the other way around. We can make it in here, right? Make this move this here, and this way I'll move my image um, to the left. Yeah, this way you'll see everything that I'll, I'll have. Yeah, okay, better. Okay, so this didn't work. So because it's it was not current. Uh, no, this is not the wrong place. Okay, O U R L. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. No, I don't like. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's my life. I <laughs> if I don't like something, I have to change it. Let's move everything back. This is all right. I I, I think this is all right. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so we this, it didn't understood that. Array. So in closure, you have few methods like make array, make array string zero, I think, creates an array, right? Okay, now it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it, it actually related to something. Okay, cool. So we have this, we have floor, wall, uh, we have goblin and elf, right? Goblin, elf. Okay, so like this. Okay, we make it with ones because we don't want to to reload them. There's no point, actually. Okay, so let's throw some some image. Oh, I think canvas has draw image, yes. And you need to specify the left top position, let's say no zero zero, and you need an image. So sprite floor, for example. Yeah. Hey, we got a floor. Okay, so let's see if we can fill everything with it. Right. Oh, we also actually you know what we we probably need a game as well. So game is game is atom parse example one. So this is the game. 
Okay, so we, uh, that way we have a game inside and paint. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to iterate. So like y in range from zero to actually, you know what? We need a game. Uh, it's gonna be this, and we're gonna make this orange game height game, right? This go for this game and. We need a function get at map get. Okay, let's call it map get and game get actually game x y game get. Yeah, it's and it's pause. Okay, so we use game and pause to get something and basically. What it means is it's either okay. So if um, okay, no, no, uh, I have count plus right, and in core plus we have. Um, okay, so it's if it's a question, no, it's not, not the same. Okay, <laughs> but uh, if some uh, this is game, um, goblins game, which is a map, right? Is if um, Goblins game have something have a goblin in this position, so then we return goblin and uh, we return its HP. Okay. Mm, well, probably you know what we probably are going to have unit type anyway. Um, that means in here, why are we having, um, don't have separate types for, Okay, it's elf, and then map game. So we need notation here. A bit set, right? Uh, if it has multiple. Y Y at pause. So we multiply this by by what? This game, right? And plus, yeah, I actually like to write it like this. So we take multiply. So if it's true, it's a wall, otherwise, it's four. Okay, so okay.
get game okay so uh sorry yeah we need uh, it like this okay so we know case launch so if it's a floor we just draw image multiply y if it's a wall we draw the same but wall if it's a goblin right uh, i think it's wrong And if it's an elf, we do this, uh, but I also want to draw HP, but probably later, okay? Yeah. Okay. And our window didn't update. Why? Uh -huh, because there was like some sort of error. Elf less, yeah, elves, yeah. This wouldn't fly. Oh my! F Do you see this? Do, do you actually see this? I mean, I mean, how cool is that? How fucking cool is that? Okay, so for some reason, sprites are not transparent, which is um, not cool, actually. Why are they not transparent? Why aren't they transparent? This is transparent, right? Yeah, this is transparent. For some reason, um, Me update my Twitter so maybe some more people could come. Okay, hopefully it will get more attention. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm super excited. Like, come on, this looks like fucking game. Uh, it's, uh, oh my God, I always, I, I just realized I always wanted to do this and nothing else. Okay, okay, uh, what I don't like is, well, first transparency, right? So transparency is wrong somehow. Why it is wrong, I don't know um make from and code it huh. maybe we if you do get image in four let me see get image in four Yeah, uh, so we have sprite something sprite floor no sprite goblin for example right we have this it's an image uh, 
Okay. Uh, we have bytes per pixel, mineral bytes, shift per pixel, color space. Um, let me see color info. I probably need to uh, get color info. Get color info. Uh, we have pre multiplied alpha bytes per pixel color type and we were very curious about get color type actually also pack false uh, class wait what So it's RGB8888. So this is should be fine. Oh, no, no, no. It is transparent. It is because I don't draw floor under it. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hmm. So we draw floor unconditional, right? Floor is always floor. Then maybe like this. Yay! <laughs> uh, pre multiply it. No, pre multiply it alpha is not a problem. Pre multiply it. Um, it's still alpha. It, it just means that color component is multiplied by um, alpha for like. It makes some computation easier, but it's, it's still transparent. No, pre multiplied is, is still transparent. Okay, no, uh, the problem was in, because we didn't do floor under, under our guys. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't like exactly contrast between uh, K floor and walls. All right, I like that walls are bricks. That part, uh, it's part of fine with me. Uh, maybe, yeah, this is probably much better. Yeah, let's use this one. Save image as. Floor, save, replace, go here. And remove the fonts. Oh my god, uh, this is wrong. <laughs> no, this is wrong. Okay, I, I saved the, the wrong file. Okay, so we're going to do... We're going to remove wall. We're going to remove, remove name this to wall. And we go, have to find floor now. Maybe make floor like this or like this. Oh, let's make... Let's make grass, right? Why not? Our guys are going to fight on the grass floor. Wait, what? Wait, what? It's 120 by 120. This is wrong. Yeah, I guess this is better. And we probably want to take this, this bricks also cool. Maybe let's use these bricks, right? Because they are bigger and is always better. Okay, I'm going to remove the ones from all of this because mm. yeah, now we have some contrast, but uh, do we really? 
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's con it's contrast enough. Um, Maybe this. This is important, guys. Uh, stay with me. This is important. Um, not contrast. Fuck. This would be too dark, I suppose, right? Dark is not bad, right? Dark isn't bad. Let's see if we can make dark. If I like dark, I don't know. I don't know. Now this would be dark as well. Um, like, but it's like it's a cave, right? It's supposed to be dark. Yeah, let's use bricks probably. And for walls, let's use red bricks. Use these bricks. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, let's let's leave it at that. Um, let me open this. Change the resolution to what we need. Sixty-four by sixty-four. Okay, save image kind of size. Let's okay, and uh, make it cool. Okay, so first thing actually, you know what? Save canvas. Sort to count colors. Okay, so this is what we need. Uh, also, I want to center it because I like things centered, and we need size. Let's call it sixty-four. Okay. Okay. So sprite size is sixty-four. Um, Yes, uh, let's make it. It's okay ish. So, what we're going to do is we are going to translate canvas. Um, we know that our window is actually, yeah. So, window is get with bounds, right? This is how big our window is. We do subtract from it what we do subtract from it we subtract um, with of game multiply it by sprite size right and then we make it half. And okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Yeah, 
Yeah, so this one, why doesn't it always like reload restore to count counts? Mm. Restore to count. Ah, because we need, uh, yeah. Apparently, if there is an error, we don't repaint. What to do with it? I have no idea. Okay, so this is our game. Cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to actually to draw hit points or over or under. That's the question. Okay, and uh, yeah, and also the sprite size. You see, uh, if I make this, for example, thirty-two, it draws incorrectly. Uh, this is because. We use we should use destination. Yeah, we should use probably this. Correct. X Y size price size. Huh. It worked? No? No, it didn't work. Um there must be yeah that's maybe because our sprites are like 64 by 64 and I feel like we don't <coughs> I feel like we don't uh, do something right. What, what don't we do right? Um, can it convert on paint 96, 96 here? What? No, translate is working, right? Translate must be working. It's still 96. Okay, this is sad. Uh, let's evolve the whole file and then try. Maybe we'll get. Okay, so it's 97 actually. Now. Uh, Rect is. Rect can be cast to java length number. So CRC rect. It's probably something about this. Oh, because it's draw image rect. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Rect. Yay. No, yeah, okay, so it works, uh, finally. Uh, let's uh, return this guy, right? I don't think we need SRC rect because by default the assumption is that we use the whole image. But now we can also make it bigger or default size, okay. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's draw hit points. Uh, thank you for, bless me. 
uh, let's draw hit points. Okay, so if it's a goblin, we want to draw HP, it's a function. Yeah, you know what we can actually save canvas translate canvas x y like that, and then just restore canvas. Okay, uh, that uh, gives us. This gives us this. We can reuse sprite rect. Mm -hmm. And it will also simplify our calculations, hopefully. Okay, yeah, it, sh it should simplify our calculations. So what we need is draw HP, it's a function, right? And it takes, let's say, unit. Um, it takes unit and what it does, we basically want to draw like green and red HP. Okay, so what we're going to do is with open paint paint set color paint. So let's draw green part first. This is our green. Um, we now like basically we want to draw draw yeah, let's draw react canvas draw rect uh, we need rect okay rect makes x w h so we start at zero zero the width is multiply HP unit by sprite size and divide it by 200, right? And like height will be, let's say, six pixels. Then we set to red. So this is our width. Uh, so we start at width, actually. And the rest we are drawing with red, right? So in case of goblin, we do draw HP unit. Okay, so this is what we do. Okay, now uh, let's see with no HP, so probably something is broken again. Paint can be cast to number, okay. Um, because I forgot about the 
Right. Yay, we have HP now. And maybe we want the boundary about it, around it, maybe not. I don't know, I'm not sure. Probably I don't want them to touch. So that's why we are going to. So we start from two actually. Yes, I don't touch right now. Right? Yeah, they don't touch and but don't see red. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, yeah, we have our game going. Uh, it's uh, so basically if we implement um, adv advance, right? Something like if we implement a step, we can actually see this how this plays out. Uh, which might be tricky because there's, there's a lot to do, like this path finding, right? Okay, and uh, also, 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 also. Okay, you know what, uh, yeah, change of plans a little bit. Okay, so here we, oops. So fraction is, let's call it whom. <laughs> uh, they're going to be single map called units. Uh, we're going to store who in a unit. Um, so, Okay, so here we have just units. Right, uh, so it's just a unit, and you can, from looking at unit, you can tell uh, who it is. Okay, so it's either unit, wall, or floor. Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, Oh, it's okay. It's either unit, wall, or floor. Okay. Map get. Um, what now? What now? What now? What now? Okay. So here we need to change probably something like. We can actually calculate sprite size from so that it always takes the full width of the canvas. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Mean uh, so sprite size would be basically get with bounds right uh, divided by this game. But it must be actually, you know what? Yeah, close draw mass. Okay, so what we're going to do. Okay. 
This is cutting edge features. It's uh, appeared only in uh, Closure 11 Alpha 3. So it's like, doesn't exist anywhere else. Okay, but we're using it, of course. Uh, mass floor, mean of, of this. We still need this. Okay, um, let's make goblin. Okay, yes, yeah, so unit. Here we also need. You can actually draw unit. Right. Case whole unit. Goblin. Elf. Okay, uh, game, 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 game. Okay. Okay, but we don't see any units. Uh, this, this is unfortunate. Is our game also the. No, it's not. Um, units, game, pause. Unit, unit, case. Do we have sprite wrecked? Yeah, we have it. Huh. Where are units? Where are, uh, where are our units? Um, blah, blah, blah. Bit set, units. There are some units, right? There are some units. So why aren't they? Unit. Oh, because yeah, because it has to be like this. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have units, and actually, yeah, this doesn't work for some reason. Ah. Uh, I have to figure it out, but uh, it, it kind of works if I change I, I haven't figured this problem out, but normally it should work. Yeah, it works, but not exactly. But anyways, I think I think it's good. But uh, yeah, let's go and Something is broken with this setup. I, I, I'm not going to figure it out now. Okay, so now we have a perfect setup, right? And what we can do is... Looks great. Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I like how it looks as well. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Because we have space. I can actually make it like, like this. Uh, right. You know what we can uh, what we can do is get window jewel window window um Get window wrecked, can contact wrecked. So we need to get window wrecked actually. Uh, 
Okay, so this is our window rect. Um, Okay, so we are going to do is set window position, JVM window uh, to eight three six six three two, and set window size at maybe a thousand eighty-eight. Okay. Let's close this open. Okay, so now window will always open where we left it, uh, which is of course hacky way to do this, but whatever, we like it. Um, yeah, so now this part of the screen will always take, it will always be taken with my game, occupied by my game. Right, and what we need to do is, yeah, we, we have to kind of start implementing this thing. I actually I forgot about sorted map. Uh, we need sorted ma uh, units. So here it's going to be sorted map. Okay. Uh -huh. I think it should be okay. Yeah, for, for now it doesn't make any difference, but now we can enumerate units and they will be enumerated in um, order the sorting okay okay so now what we need to do is we can make a single unit move and to do that what we need to like like first guy who wants to move we just iterate right the first guy who wants to move is this skeleton in order for him to move he first needs to identify distances to all of the mm, slimes right um actually you know what what uh map get here i actually floor is going to return zero That's Uh, you know what we can actually return yeah it's it's actually or of unit or maybe wall and Okay, so what we need, we need this, we need this, okay, it kind of still works, right, hopefully it still works, no, okay, it doesn't, huh, what do you mean who is new? Unit who HP um, unit who draw unit obj
Interesting. Interesting ish. Whole unit is now. Wall, 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 nil. Okay, yeah, because, uh, yeah, okay, of course. It could be nil. Okay, now, uh, uh, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know what? Um, maybe we can do. We can protect ourselves from this error. And, and, and I'm thinking that uh, our problem with setup is that window canvas, right? And uh, our problem that we have here is. We do this, catch exception E, and what we do is we clear actually canvas. With red color, right? This is how we want. We won't see the exceptions though, but we can. Yeah. We can print it. We can print it. How do we print exception only once? Huh. Yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, we just printed. Print stack trace e. Okay, and we probably still want to just request frame. We can stop requesting frames actually. And then we will need this. Okay, now we just start requesting frames. So we do this. We do... Actually what we do is, you know what? Resolve. Let's resolve. Just resolve. Maybe, maybe like this. Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure, but uh, this should work actually. Okay, we have read why. Uh, game cannot be cast to game. Yeah, this is. Maybe this is expected. Hmm. 
Why is it even trying to cast game to game? Oh, yeah, probably this resolve is not a good idea. Hmm. Okay, maybe we need a game in here as well. Let's start again and so game is new. Why? Maybe This setup, setup is getting hard, com more and more complex, but mm. I understand what future it means, like on two hundred. Resolve on paint is future. Why is it future? Right. Not future. It's a deref. It's how deref works, actually. Okay, but why don't we see anything exactly? I mean, this um, this boss produce something, right? Maybe we need huh.
Maybe because on the paint window canvas game, right? And on the paint window canvas game, yeah. Why isn't it working? So one guess is maybe request frame returns no 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 no. Um, let's see. On point, even uh, yes, so for some reason, resolve doesn't work. Maybe it needs full namespace. Name, yeah, that's what it needed. Okay, so okay, so we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need, I probably want this anyway, but if if it fails. Right. Okay. So, um, fuck. Okay. So on plane start stopped. Right. Uh, we have. So for example, we do this. We get an error. Right. We roll it back. I do this and it's wrong now. Hmm. Why it's in the wrong position? Interesting. Let's break it again. And get exceptions, right? It feels like, huh? Yeah, something wrong with the position, but. We'll figure out the bounds in here. Let's actually bounds. Right, so this is what we see. Okay, so it's thousand. This seems correct. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Fuck, I know what's going on. <laughs> okay, I know what's going on. Cool. Uh, but this is good that I know what's going on. Um, this is actually because we don't save. And restore canvas to a proper position, and we should do it no matter what, like no matter what. And if if like basically if exception happens in here, restore to count. Now is never called right. 
so we don't oops sorry I don't actually need to worry about it here okay and you, you've probably seen how it like fell down okay so this is our new new situation right and if we do this we get error we do this we do this we get everything back okay hopefully for now it's not going to be as annoying uh, as it was before okay so uh is it advent of code uh, 218 yes it is uh because like 2021 we solved it like in five minutes or I don't know, 10 minutes uh, it was super simple because it's just second day so it starts easy and then we fell back to older tasks and i had most solved in 2018 so i decided to continue hopefully eventually if i do every day one day of 2021 and one day of 2018 maybe i will get at least one year finished but yeah we're on task 15 now and it's like goblin versus elves war um that's what we are doing and we decided to do it graphically okay uh the other question is standalone fleet uh, without smart mode uh, can it compete with sublime i'm not sure i don't think so i don't think so it is lightweight ish but like compared to idea it's certainly super lightweight but it is still written in kotlin not c++ right and it's when it's working there it there wasn't much care dedicated to performance like obvious performance bottlenecks were removed but it was not first priority first priority was uh to get it out of the door so i um, i don't think performance was like on the list it was on the list but not not high enough in my opinion to compete with sublime it, it's good enough for like many other users like to compete with visual studio code probably to compete with sublime i don't know anyways uh it's been three hours i feel like i want to implement turns and it's once we have our graphics set up will probably be easier um, i want to take a little break and get my tea and then uh, we'll continue a little bit uh, maybe not solve the task right but at least see the thing move and this is what i want uh, how they move okay be right back
Okay, uh, we are back. We are back, recharged and ready, ready for implementation. So what I'm thinking is breath first search with backtracking, right? And uh, the plan is, let me actually start, let's do this, for example, right? Yeah, this is probably okay. So the idea is we want let's remove it for now. What we want is a black so uh, no this is not right. This is this is what we want. Well so probably I want something like this. Okay, cool. So this is where we stand, right? And we just start uh, evaluating where we can go from here. So and counting the steps. So this will be one step. One step, then from here, it's like two, 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 two. Two, two, right? And uh, we continue this until we reach a goblin. And at one turn, we might reach several goblins, right? So we have to choose. So like this might be a goblin and this might be a goblin, right? At this point, we know that these two are two closest goblins. We don't have to go any further. Uh, well, there are two possibilities. Either we exhaust all options and we don't just don't move, or we find goblin or several goblins. And then we know these are the closest. We can stop right now. And for both of them, the number is three. Right? Uh, so now our problem is... So this is elf in our case. Mm. I don't know how to erase, but keep background. Maybe punch. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. This is probably very wrong. But uh, this is our what the fuck elf here from which we started. So at this point we found this guy and this guy. And we only need one step, right? We only need to determine whether we go up or down or left or right. Like we know we can go to four directions. We don't need the full pass, but still, if we, did, we found several goblins. Um, they all equal distance. So this is actually what I want to clear up. Uh, no, actually, we don't encounter a goblin. We encounter a position near near a goblin. But it's it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same. Uh, all possible targets. If no targets remain, combat ends. And the unit defines all of open squares at the range of which targets. As the squares are adjusted. Unit will already be in range of targets. Do we have, we actually have some attacks. We can implement attacks first, actually, and dying, and then just stop. But let me clear uh, what happens when we move first, and then to move unit first. Okay, so target, this is in range, these are reachable, these are three nearest. Okay, wait, 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 wait. 
if the unit cannot find okay so we identify okay so like from these two goblins we choose a goblin that is first in the reading order which will be the top and then we kind of have to backtrack right the problem with this is like for example if goblin would be here um so we have position here and position here How to race and keep background. Smart races and also. But yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. And this and this and this and this and this and this. Okay. Oh actually, you know what? Oh, no, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, so the problem is following. So we want to reach this guy, right? Imagine this don't exist. Like, yeah, let me remove them. This two don't exist. We just want to reach this guy. Um, right? Right, uh, we can reach, so either this, we actually want to go to either this three or this three. And this one wins, so we want to go to this three. But still, still, we can go like that, 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 or we can go, oops, like that, that, that. Right, so there are two paths and we have to choose between this one and this one. And how do we do that? That's the question. Okay, and there's again reading order, but okay, yeah, we'll figure the algorithm later, probably. <sighs> but basically, like, to get to this tool, we either go from here or from here. So what I'm proposing, actually, is what, as we feel, let me remove this one and probably these parts. As we feel, we just keep booktracking, so, like, when we put this one, we actually store that we came from here. When we put this two, we store that we came from here, right? So we can backtrack when we need to. Now, uh, what about this two, right? So this two is tricky, and I think... I think, what I think, what do I think? We don't actually need back, the full backtracking, right? We actually want... We actually want to keep a single flag, which is first step. 
And for this two, like uh, we come to this two, and the first step is one, two, three, four. So it's either north, east, no, 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 north, west, east, and south, right? In this order. So this one is north. Right, we have to go north to get to this one. This two is also north, because we have we come from one with a north, right? So this two is actually tricky. Like, and this one, for example, is east. Uh, so from to get to this two, like say we get, we try we get here from one east, so it would be two east, right? Then we go to one north and we see that we already know pass here, but it's the same pass, like it's the same, have the same length too, right? So we have like north and east here, so we can either take north or east. Uh, and in this case, we just take north, like uh, north takes precedence, so we remove east, we override this with north. Uh, otherwise, it will be. Mm, If we come to north first and then from east, east doesn't take precedence, so it keeps north. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. It, uh, it's simple and should work. Okay, cool. Um, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's uh, let's implement attack first, actually. Uh, because it's simpler and we in our setup let me return my window back it's simpler and in our setup we can actually see a few turns right so we are going to make make turn we take game right so now we walk all the units from top to hmm. okay yeah um, so we kind of take units in game right reduce so we kind of make make turn unit game unit pause um let's actually reduce kv Right, so we take game a make turn unit kind of so like now we're saying we take this unit as this position and make its turn. Um, So make attack is like we take a unit, we look at four positions around it, right? Uh, we take we take a look at four positions around the unit, and basically. These four positions would be what will they be? Count, um, how do I write? Yeah, it's probably like this. Uh, if our position is bigger 
then is bigger than zero, uh, it will be Basically, maybe a uh, straw not empty on top of it. Uh, okay, so make attack and make unit turn. Uh, so it's either make attack game pause unit. So if we can't make attack, we turn nil. Uh, in this case, we just return game. Or maybe, maybe we return nil. Uh, the, the the problem is we we want we want we want we want we want what we want we want to make sure uh, it's fuck camera camera uh, we want to make sure we have exit condition right um hmm. it's, it's interesting how we make that but uh, yeah let's think about it a little bit later. So, okay, uh, and we also probably want those sorted, so going fill up is first, then going left, then going right, and then going down. Okay, so these are four positions. Okay, so... Um, how do I try? I want to, uh, there's a comment uh, from Ravi387, I want to build client-side apps in Clojure, which lib is best. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by client-side. Web applications or desktop applications or, or what? As for web, there's web framework for web. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Luminous, yeah. Probably Luminous is easiest to start for web. And for desktop applications, well, I'm building one, but uh, I'm not sure. It's not, it's far from ready, so not. It's going to be here. This organization, so, but it, it can do much. It can create windows, and not good at that <laughs> yet. Uh, but anyways, uh, how do I experience? Uh, well, actually, a loop. Um, Directions, directions is going to be surrounding game pass, right? Um, uh, 
if we don't have any directions around us we exit okay now if we have uh, yeah it's probably gonna be let deer first deers Object is game uh, game get game deer right so we see take a look at what is in the direction we cannot attack uh, wall so we just record next deers right um, we cannot attack wall but uh, if direction if who obj equals who unit we also skip right and uh, yeah if it's nil we we also skip so there's like three conditions in well actually you know what Yeah, we skip, 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 and uh, the fourth one is going to be we finally found our opponent and we can make a turn and this turn will be um, let HP is HP arch. So if HP, let's say we have attack here. Yeah, we start attack even though it's usually the same. It, it, I had a feeling they want to change it later, so yeah. And, uh, Okay, so we have our unit. Oh, let's these are keywords because it's like I can get tired of these annotations real quick. Uh problem yes, awesome stream, awesome stream, thank you for compliment. Um it hit me like really hard. I always wanted to build a game. Come on. And they ask you to build a game, I mean it's simple as that. Uh, if HP is lower than attack of the unit, hmm. or equals, right? So in this case, we actually want to kill unit, update game units this sock here. This is what we do. Uh, and finally, else update game uh, units, update deer. Uh, mm, HP minus attack unit, right? So we either continue exploring if we found it, we found it, we do our attack. Date game units update dear. HP minus looks all right to me. Looks all right to me. Okay, so we, we try to make make turn unit. So unit might not make a turn at all. 
right um, so this is pretty interesting so what we are going to do here is we're actually going to find Huh. We make, make turn, right? So it's either, either, either. Well, actually, if nothing changes, we just. Yeah, and we also need, well, actually it's not that easy, but So what this uh, says is well, actually what it says is if, if unit is still on a board because it could be killed right before we get to it uh, if unit is still on a board in this game pause units game we try to attack with it or make a move yeah okay and if it's not return the game make turn and then we probably okay so this doesn't work zero attack yeah attack is three yeah it. okay and our exception is Game cannot be cast to class games. Yeah, this is super annoying actually. This is I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it, but that's super annoying. Okay, terminal. Resize you. What the fuck? Actually let's see if We might be consuming some CPU in Java, I think. No? No, I don't think so. No, Java is calm. Okay, good. Um, yeah, this is super annoying for sure. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so let's say mm. okay, something went wrong. One six two. Yay, see, look, uh, they're dying slowly. All of them. Let's see if they. Boom. And now they can't, can't do it. Okay, why is it, is it correct? Like, this is this example, right? Hmm. 
I'm kind of kind of correct. But uh, they also move, so this is what we, we're getting something else. But it kind of we can also probably animate it, right? Um, like we can do let's say a loop uh, game well we just do loop uh, let game 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 prime is make turn game um, if the equals we return otherwise we recur and we all right <laughs> we swap game we actually reset actually we swap game my turn it is uh, the only thing that I want to check is like I can't Yeah, this is return us new win, right? Uh, so game prime is this return game. All right, we can go as far as this. We actually do like wait one hundred milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, the dying and it's animated. How cool is that? Cool. Uh, 100 may be too much. Let's say we went, wait, like this. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if we can make it animate at. It's okay. Yeah, it, it takes. Let's uh, let's say sixteen. It doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, we won't be able to see like how how smooth animation is. But Cool. Um, so uh, we probably want to return something like score. Well, actually, you know what? We have turn in game, right? So turn zero. Huh. Yeah, probably turn is not what we want in here.
Okay, let's implement walking. Uh, walking is much more interesting, right, uh, than killing. Um, make attack and make move. Okay. And basically what we want to do here is make attack or make move. Uh, <coughs> so make move as we already discussed in here. We need breath first, breath the th breath first search. Right? We probably need a map of distances. Or not? Do we or do we not? Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay, what is the simplest way to implement depth first search? We need a sequence of like boundary, and we need this a map of every distance calculated, right? And all the distances that we haven't seen uh, will have uh, effectively a distance of efficient infi infinity sorry um all right and we continue to explore like okay okay so we start here and our boundary is like surroundings of well, that's actually our boundary is this position right from it we explore where can we go Okay, let's uh, implement uh, the simplest possible thing. Okay, so board, let's call ball it border and it will start with distance is zero. So what I'm thinking is actually to make everything easier. I oh, know. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, border position. Um. Hmm. Okay. We need we need a map, right? And uh, let's say with height actually you know what width will be height okay uh, game who who this is what we need from unit. Okay. What? And we also need um, a map, and the map will be make array. Basically, it's uh, make array long type like this is what we need this are our distances right Mm 
Okay, and it's filled with zeros. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, We can do Okay, uh, so we have is distance zero. Uh, let me put it in here. So I am planning on encoding direction with numbers, right? And store them in. We don't need to know exactly the distance. Hmm. We don't need distance at all, actually. But what we want is our border to be... Okay, we need to do some initialization first, right? Um, we want a set map. Um, X plus Y plus, so it's going to be Y plus plus to X. E plus X percent. Okay, so post in response. So our starting position has distance zero, right? Then we need to set four different positions. Mm -hmm. Then we need to sit, set four different positions up, down, right, up, left, right, and down with appropriate so like in imperative. language I would say if we are like basically we, we need to repeat this logic right Mm -hmm. 
we, we need to repeat this logic and what we need to do is have this boundary recalculated initialized and has map really initialized so map is already mutable which is good right and border is okay let's say border is atom like this right okay so uh, what we're going to do is probably going to look like that so uh, we said this we said this e, uh, or is it when um, our y position is bigger than zero we want to we want to the order is just positions and distance sorry positions distance okay yeah yeah um hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we start with So distance to the top is going to be 11. Uh, that's not all. And uh, swap border. Okay, so this is what we do. Now, um, if, what is this going, if, x is bigger than zero decrement x y uh, this will be set to 12. basically like uh, every step will cost 10 and one two three four will encode the start direction okay okay uh, then we if x smaller than decrement v w increment x blah, blah, blah. so this is 13 and finally the same for y decrement h x increment y this is our, and this will have distance 14. Okay, so this is our boundary, or border. Map is map. We don't need the, to iterate our map, right? So we just iterate our border. Okay, so um, what we go over here is we try to bulk hmm. basically for each element of border we try to bulk all four directions for it right and fill the map um, and wait and build new border okay and if it doesn't work well
it doesn't work it's too bad okay so uh, so this loop is going to be one single step we take border uh, it's um, There are multiple possibilities. We have nowhere to go, right? Then border is just empty and we just exit. Okay, so this is uh, first possibility, empty border. We just return nil, right? Okay, so second possibility. So now we do have steps to go. Uh, the second possibility is we found a goblin. Right. found the goblin okay so now what we do is we take border 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 oh no 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 okay so three possibilities first uh border is empty we next come no no nowhere to go okay cool um so some the second one is some of the Border position. No, 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 no. Some of the border positions contain goblin. No, it is it is okay actually. It is okay. Um, it is okay. 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 Okay, yeah, so we have like, we have border now, and if any of the positions in it is adjacent to our opponent, then we choose the smallest one, right? Kind of. So what I want to say is well let's write a function that's called um, actually wait what do we take small less steps No, oh, this is okay, this is okay, yeah. Uh, any of them is RJ uh, it's not spelled like that, right? Adjacent Game Pause yeah, let's say like this, right? So what we want to do is We want to know if position is adjacent to somebody. And what we basically what we are going to do is filter surrounding, right? Uh, it's actually surrounding pause.
I'm actually thinking of making wall a unit. Yes, because Because it's, it's simpler, actually. Uh, so we call surrounding, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We take pause. We call surrounding on it, right? Um, then we call game get actually. And we do keep. On each surrounding tile, we do game get. Well, actually, let's call it map. Right. And what we want is filter the unit that we get. Actually, yeah, let's call keep. So who percent equals cool not empty. So these are adjacent units of the type that we need. Kind of, kind of, yes. Um, okay. Yeah, this is wrong. This should return us or all, all adjacent. Jason game pause game Yeah, we need who enemy case who Goblin uh, elf, elf, goblin. So this is our enemy type. And uh, border. So basically, what we, we take border, current border, right? And we check if any. No, no, no. no. Uh, well, yeah. Actually, adjacent. Uh, so this checks if let's write it down. Checks if pause is adjacent to to who? Okay. And it does so by taking post, taking surrounds of it, right? Uh, getting objects that are in the surrounds and filtering the, uh, these objects to be of the needed type. And if there is, well, actually, I think we can just replace it with some.
kind of like this, right? Oh, actually, kind of like this. Okay, so this should return. Let, let's try actually. Let's try adjacent. So zero one one one, right? Uh, game one one and is it adjacent to goblin true is it adjacent to elf no no okay so and there must be a point that is adjacent to both goblin uh, so zero one two three four zero one two three four so four four should be adjacent to both elf and the goblin right yeah seems to work actually let me try two zero yeah okay it seems to work let's let's hope it works it's not it's not a hard find uh, okay now uh adjacent so we we filter border and try Keep is a map. We, we need actually filter. Okay, so we filter border. If any of the border is adjacent to enemy, that means we want to go there, right? Uh, yeah, and this will be filled with positions, right? The border is position. Okay, so but 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 but. Um, okay, let's call. So if if adjacent is, we want to return a position. Uh, in this case, okay, so what we want, okay, we have adjacent, right? We, it, it might be several, right? So on, on a border, there might be several uh, points to which we want to go, okay? Uh, there are several points to which we want to go. And we actually choose the smallest one, which is OK, right? So we just choose the smallest one, OK. Um, so we call it target. Uh, target is Target is target is target is target is target is um, first sort by I just sort adjacent. This is the smallest one because uh, positions are already comparable, so this is good. It's work class. Target okay. Uh, this is where we want to go, right? So target uh, we. Go, uh, get map post to index target. So this is our distance, right? Direction would be mod distance 10. Okay, and um, yeah, basically. So we have one of four directions. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, my, my bad. One, two, three, four. We have uh, one of four direction. So as uh, that means, we can get a new position, All right? So if the position is one. So what we want is to go up. If the position is two, it means we want to go left. 
if the position is three, we, it won't, means we want to go right. And if the position is four, it means we go down. Okay, so this is new position. And now we actually exit this loop. Um, and we, because we want, we know where we want to go, right? Now, um, now what we want to do is actually game update game game update units update pause right uh, this sock pause update units a sock we move there. So this basically means we make a move, right? Because we want, we know where we want to go. Uh, to go, right? Found an enemy go. And the third, um, the third situation is we we haven't exhausted our possibilities yet, but we haven't found anything as well. Okay, and in this case, yeah, it's expand border. It is super tricky uh, ish, super tricky ish. <laughs> um, <laughs> so how does it work? How does it work? Basically, we take recur, right? And here we want map cat border so we take current border and here we need a function oops right essentially we take um let distance get and what we return is kind of surrounding let's call them These are our surroundings, right? Um, hmm. From the surroundings, we don't want We don't want positions where we can't go. We also don't want positions that are smaller than us. Right. So basically what we say is So we remove 
can't walk. Uh, this one is we have seen them, right? And they have closer paths. Path. Okay, and basically that's it, right? So, yeah, so we take a position, let me figure it out. So we stand, for example, here. This is our border. Uh, the tools are still, don't, still, the tools don't exist yet, right? Okay, so actually so this will be 11 this will be 12 let me do oh this is will be 11 ah 11 12 13 14 okay so we take this uh we explore like we can't go here for example there's a wall let's call it evolve so we can't go here so we're not exploring it but uh, this has uh, weight of zero so we're not exploring this either right but we're exploring this this will be 21 and this will be 21 right but then what i'm more interested in is like actually let's see so this have zero right and what if we stand at, at 13, right? And so we go here, for example, and we write 23. We go here and we write 23. And we go here and we write 23. So now if we go back to 11, we see that distance Oh, actually, let's do this. All right, so basically what we mean is... We go here and try 21. We added this to boundary already. We want to override it with 21, actually. It's smaller. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, the, well, the boundary can be like sorted set, kind of. So it's not, not a problem, right? Sorted set. And our boundary is sorted set. And conch, yeah, conch works. Um, yeah, and we add sorted set here, adjacent, and now what we basically do is, no, it doesn't need to be sorted set, why, why does it have to be sorted set, no, we don't need sorted set, what we actually want is, no, 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 sorted set is okay. <laughs> um, Let's go, let's uh, adjacent, I set map pause to index pause distance, right? And so basically we, we fill 23 from here, but we fill 21 from here, but we don't fill 24 in here, as I hope. Uh, it will be cool to visualize this, but it will probably debug it like this. We can visualize, I can draw distances and stuff, but should I do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, so, and yeah, we just return adjacent, right, from this map cat. Right, right, 
Right, so something is not yet right. But yeah, kind of map cat. So basically we take border, right? Okay, let me do this because it's more it's easier to read this way. So we do border, then we do map cat and then we do sort set. Border, map cat, sort of set. Okay, so uh, we return blah, 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 expand border. And if... Come off, okay. What is target here? We don't actually need the regional distance, so we can actually do kind of this. Um, map get, game get, right? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, something is not right. Oh, this again. Okay, let's see if they move. No, they don't move. But we didn't expect it to work on the first run, right? Not yet. No, wait, wait, what? Okay, two, four, five. What? Units in game is new? Okay, so some, somewhere in here we... This feels safe enough, right? Returning new from um, make move also feels safe enough. Okay, let's see if we can. Yeah, this still works, okay. So this is make move our problem, right? Okay, we reduce, make units, game, units, game. Okay, so... Okay, it's position, units... How units can be zero? Okay, let's sprint. Let's print current state of the game. Okay, so this is current state of the game, right? And do we have units in here? Yeah, we have units, right? How, how could it be? Two, four, four. Maybe game is new. Make turn. Make move. Game was unit, right? Um, Okay, so this is units, All right? We have some units, and then we have new. So units is new, and 
game is something very strange. A vector of object and empty list. <laughs> okay. okay, so probably, yeah, that's our problem. Surrounding in. Yeah, it needs game. Okay, sorted set now it doesn't work. Okay, sorted set is border, right? Border we just put positions in. Um border 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 uh so new border is let me make sure oh, okay wow I made you stream full screen and I was trying to push on your many icons. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, well, the skeletons walked, kind of, it kind of works. Uh, let's see, uh, in this case, this is not what we're supposed to see, right? Okay, this is our start position, right? It's G E G G G E. Okay. Let's see that we walk as expected. So we don't have wait what? Oh yes, yeah, the skeleton walks in directly into into a wall actually. Um, why was he able to do that? Uh, because we don't check the initial right something like this. Um, oh, 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 I think I created two windows. Now I don't see them. Wait, why? Why don't I see them? So like floating windows don't are not displayed, what the fuck. So I always wondered, like in Mac OS, yeah, sometimes some windows uh, don't appear in Alt-Tab or whatever. Not in Alt-Tab, actually. I was wondering what this is about, because it's floating or whatever. Okay, we got, okay. But anyways. Um, is it close to what we should be getting? It feels close, but I think they walked into a different, slightly different direction, right? So let's see. The second one walks up the, okay, so let's move another one. So now this is on top, this is on left. The, everybody else, so eating the top guy. Okay, so let's see how they eat the top guy. Okay, so he's dead. Now we have this position, right? Now the left, now the top guy moves down, right? And this guy moves up. Okay, let's, let's just see that we get the right position. We seem to get the right position. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not the most efficient 
<laughs> okay, it says that bottom one are right now closed off these two folks. Okay, and the bottom one was here. And elf dies. Okay. Um, so now we need to count kind of kind of play the game, right? Uh, play. Remove this loop in. We make turn zero. Don't need that. Uh, turn. Okay, so now we like let's remove this. Let's put it here. Play. It's called play. With, with a bank, actually. Okay, so the answer is 48, which is one more than we want. Okay, so we do this. 47 now, okay. And the sum of hit points for remaining units is Okay, so now we want turn HP and what we do here is we map units game, right? And what we map them to unit Okay, so let's compare 200, 131, one, one, super, super wrong. Wait, what? We, we should have two 200s. Oh, kind of, yeah. It kind of feels like we made one more turn ish. Wait, where do I check that unit exists? Oh, this is to check, right? Awesome, worth to wait four hours and 45 minutes to see this. Still better of present cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I also removed like a lot of printing and probably. What? Uh, new now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now it's instant because I was printing a lot of stuff, so that's why it was slow. Uh, but we get wrong HP. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it could have happened. Um, it feels like. Let's actually. Let's do this. So everybody has two hundreds, right? We make one turn. We have four one. Yeah, this seems all right. Actually, maybe I should print the HP instead of displaying it. Yeah, render current turn is text. Uh, current turn is 
not that useful out but hp is useful okay yeah 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 let's let's do let's do actually draw string let's draw string on top of um where are we at we have draw units over here yeah yeah we have um so we draw image we draw hp bar and actually we want is set color or maybe f f f f f f uh, draw string canvas string hp unit right uh let's say we want zero zero font i think font can be nil here and paint well no font. <laughs> apparently font can be nil um mm -hmm. i just want didn't want to get Because you need font manager and then like the face and I think you can make font like this. I don't know why it died actually. Oh, it dies now. Also. Well, apparently it dies because of that, right? Uh, let's see if we can make font the font font make font make no I just font with typeface and size so so typeface is going to be new and size is going to be 26 okay yeah and we need font in here Um, hmm. I think this needs to be flawed. Okay, and it's not nil now. Okay, this is good. Yay, we have fun. Okay, so like like this. Kind of, yeah. I think it works. I think it works. It's like aligning font, like label. I would like to align it, but it would be like pain in this. Uh, it will be more amazing for heroes as one of advent coding. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens with our turns because like we have fucking it up somewhere right okay let's see let's compare actually we have this right we have this uh, we can make sublime like this so this is our first turn so the second turn is wrong right already see the top one have moved Okay, so this I don't understand. Like, you see, like, this is first round, okay? Uh, the guy on the top, and now we make move from <laughs> data to flashbacks. Yeah. Um, like, this guy moves to the right, yes? And then this guy starts starts going, right? And as he sees top guy, he's supposed to attack top guy actually. Why isn't why but uh, according to this he actually attacks the right guy. Why? 
why isn't it talking? Okay, time to reread this bullshit. Um, bum, 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 bum. He's supposed to attack top guy, right? All units are very disciplined, uh, disciplined. In each round, each unit that is still alive takes a turn resolving all of its actions before the next unit's turn begins. On each unit's turn, it tries to move into range of enemy, it's in the range of an attacker, it isn't in a range. Okay, so this is super strange. All units are very disciplined, dis disciplined and always follow very strict combat rules. Units never move or attack diagonally, and doing so would be dishonorable. When multiple choices are equally valid, ties are broken in reading order, top to bottom, left to right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, each unit begins its turn by defining all possible targets and units. If not target, remains combat ends. Then the unit defines all the open squares that are in range of each target. These are the squares which are adjacent immediately up, down, left, or right to any target in which aren't already occupied. Blah, blah, blah. Alternatively, the unit might already be in range of a target. If the unit is not already in range of a target, then there are no open squares which are in range of a target. The unit ends its turn. Okay, this is fine. If the unit is already in range of a target, it does not move, but continues its turn with an attack. Okay. Like, can unit move and attack? Maybe maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe unit want to move and attack. No. No, if unit is already in range of target, but continues. Okay, yeah, after mo moving unit attacks, actually. So we got this wrong, right? So, um, what we do we have here? So if it can make an attack, attack 
right. It might not attack, uh, fail to attack. Okay, let's see. Boom. Boom. Is this what we're looking at? No. No. Also, this guy must have 188, one, but it was only attacked once, but it should have been attacked three times actually, right? By this guy, by this guy, and by this guy. Why wasn't it? Huh. Strange. Why wasn't he attacked three times? Hmm. Yeah, okay, this is a uh, problematic kind of. Okay, so it wasn't attacked because. Fuck, why is this? This is because of some bullshit about the game and the game, right? Yeah. So what we should do is do this probably. Okay, yeah, let's uh, figure out why the yeah, reloading still still sucks. 
Okay, so these two guys, they moved, but they didn't attack, right? So why they didn't they attack? Let's go to make turn. Uh, because position is different, right? Okay, so we make move and our new guy is a different position which we have no chance of figuring out oh my fucking god um make move okay make move is here and we return game and pause okay um Game pause, yeah, like this. Okay, now it attacks, but like this guy is, uh, is all right. Why? So, but the green guy attacks top guy, right? Not the right guy. Um, yeah, probably. Okay, yeah, but uh, we still don't understand something, right? Okay, let's see here. Okay. After moving the unit attack, the attack the unit first determines all of the targets that are in range of it being immediately adjacent. And if there are no such targets, the unit tends to turn. Otherwise, the adjacent targets with the fewest hit. Oh, okay, fewest hit points. That's that's what I missed. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Fuck. Okay, but this makes sense. But uh, yeah, um, so we start with directions, but this is not exactly okay, -ish. right? Okay, let adjacent uh, we take these positions. Well, actually, wait, wait, adjacent. Probably want to move this here. Okay, so adjacent to is pose adjacent to who? So basically, we want. Um, adjacent game pause. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. So we take four positions around our guy, right? 
and filter them for ha having a enemy who game get game percent it might be nil but then this will be nil and yeah okay so we are only interested in positions around ourselves with the person who's opposite to us right uh, so this our potential now we need to sort them sort by and uh, the function we are going to use is juxt they said the function turns uh, yeah so basically first one is uh, the first So the first function is we take position and we take unit game get game pause right no, no wait wait so what what yeah we didn't need juxt here so first one is we game we get HP of the unit on this position and the second one is the position itself right so because it's comparable it will compare nicely actually can do okay so we sort this should give us who to attack if uh, there is something right we check for HP okay let's call it target actually more like this uh, game get target we basically game is so target otherwise we write this super long Uh, yeah and dear what's dear yeah really what's dear who attack unit right Okay, so this should be closer to what we want. Uh -huh. um. hmm. 
so the by is KFM. Yeah, because we forgot uh, percent here. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, now it's more like. Wait, did you see one of them? Try them off. Okay, let's compare. One three one two hundred five nine two hundred and. Uh, Round is forty six. No, round should be thirty seven. Yeah, okay. So forty seven is looks good because like I was an is Two seven seven thirty. Okay, yeah, it works. Um, play maybe we want to do like example input, All right, and. Uh, Parse input play example one. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's uh, do more examples, right? So we should do this for sure. Swing, Ooh. and we got the wrong number. Fuck. Okay, so this one has two hundred. This one seven, one two five. 200. So HP is correct, but I assume the. Turn is incorrect. We're supposed to multiply, right? Seven thirty eight. But here we here we get correct turn, 
here we want turn off hmm. that's interesting maybe maybe we do well, my hypothesis here is we do one extra turn with move. No, we don't. Hmm. Okay, let's do more examples and we'll figure out which one are wrong. Then we have our input, which is huge map, but uh, there's no point in starting it. I'm, I'm kind of worried about its performance, but there's no point starting it until we nailed this. Okay, so we have all examples, hopefully. Um, let's say... H piece, H piece, H piece, H piece, H piece. So what we want is we want answer, right? We want turn and we want um, no. Um, We want this, we want this, we want this, okay. What we want also, like, um, okay, in example one, answer is. For example, to answer should be this. False. Okay, so if we play to it's kind of one extra turn, right? Right. Um, let's do three. For three, it should be this. Also false. Okay, let's let's first see what's going on because it's super cool, in my opinion. Okay, so let's see. Um, the third example: one nine seven two hundred ninety one two hundred. So how many turns? So one, we, it looks like we have one turn off, right? We we like producing one more turn, uh, which could be absolutely possible. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the gank on slime again. Um, so twenty one. So it needs thirty five. Yeah. We, okay. Let's say. I just don't understand the example one then. Uh, 
Now let's uh, let's keep it. Um, let's go example five. Okay, so we have fifty five. 200, 98, 38, 200. Yeah, it seems like we're doing all right, except for the very first example. Okay, this is slightly bigger map, right? Uh, 21, yeah. Okay, okay, so it looks like a turn must be turn right, like this, right? And then we'll have true. True, 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 and false. So example one, we fail. Um, so should we try input? Should we try input? Let's see. Actually, we don't have input yet, right? So. Actually, let's save it here. Input. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have Yay. Um, it worked faster than I expected. So let's put a delay to it. It's also resize. Um, yay. Okay, looks like it worked, which is good, right? No, 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 no. Kind of worked, which is good. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that it worked, but also kind of cool. I was sure we will need like much more performance, right? And where's my answer? Okay, so answer is two zero one two zero one one two three. <laughs> we solved it. <laughs> Uh, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, we solved it. Uh, five hours, 30 minutes, but it's like full working day, but it's not wasn't spent like doing nothing, right? I, I improved my uh, JVM, well, not JVM, Humble UI setup a little bit so we can now see errors. We still cannot like when we reload namespace it gets like this i still need to figure out why is that but it kind of worked i 
Okay, so I think what we need to do now, yeah, I, what we need to do is to take a better look at it again. Yay! Skeletors were so slime. Fight, 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 fight. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I, I'll probably, okay, let me, let me make, what? Let me make it, okay, so I can do it so that it's normal window. And now what do I want? Yeah, I want to remove draw string and let's, ah, fuck. I just want to remove uh, strings and play it again without strings, just, just looking at how they die. Well, unfortunately, skeletons win, which is unfortunate. Okay, so uh, what I want to do right now is to stage this all. Year 218, day 15. Part one, right? We solved it. Actually, okay. And what? Let's see if we can. Hopefully, part two. Oh fuck! It's also long. But uh, what the fuck? We can finish it probably. According to the calculations, the elves are going to lose badly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Surely you won't mess up the timeline too much if you give them just a little advanced technology, right? You need to make sure the elves not only win but also suffer no losses. Even the death of a single elf is unacceptable. However, you can't go too far. Larger changes will be more likely to permanently alter space-time. So you need to find the outcome of the battle in which elves have the lowest integer attack power. Aha, I know, I knew that attack will need to be a parameter, actually, and it is, right? That allows them to win without a single death. The goblins always have attack power of three. In the first summarized example above, the lowest, ta lowest attack power of the elves need to win without losses is 15. In the second example above, only need 4 attack power. Okay, so we basically write another loop and see. Maybe well, this, this will be slow. Okay, so if that wasn't slow, this will be slow. Need 15, need 12, uh, one elf need 34. Uh, after increasing the elf stack power until it is just barely enough for them to win without any elves dying, what is the outcome of the combat described in your puzzle input? Uh, you can still get your puzzle input. Okay. So we write a loop that gradually increases um, attack, right? Uh, <laughs> and we just run the game multiple times, basically. Should be straightforward enough. Like, how long do we solve this problem in, like, under a second? So, if the attack power is under 100, for example, uh, it will be 100 seconds, kind of. Okay, yeah, uh, should be doable. Right, so we we have parts here, and parts input three input attack we have our fucking I mean multi cursors are cool but when this happens it's like I just can't okay so yeah
Okay, uh, so we have this parameterized, right? Um, the second thing that we need to is the amount of deaths that happened. This shouldn't be hard, right? Uh, we just remember amount of elves. Let elves count filter. Let's not be too smart. Okay. Um, okay, so pass opts here. So this is how many elves we have. We also reset game with this. We... Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. And we also report this is Okay, so this is what we have percent yeah. Okay, so this is our play, right? So we if we play say example one example one sixteen, yeah because um Delay sixteen. Wait, what? Parts actually. I can never remember. Um Let's close this window because we want a new window. Okay, this is our new window, right? Uh, let's play the game and see. So we have zero deaths, which is incorrect. Um, okay, this is understandable. Yeah, so two elves died. Yeah, that seems correct. Null pointer exception because X is now is pause play. Three, three, two. Because delay could be nil. Okay. Yeah. Or. 
Oh, actually, we don't need ports when just one delay. That should be enough. Okay, so devs one. Because we start with yeah, the kill this middle guy, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, looks. Okay, problem two. We have ten deaths. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is play play two. Okay, uh, part two. And what we're going to take is kind of the same input delay uh, opt input and kind of the same setup actually. They start it's like So loop attack four, right? Um, case this play. Um, input. Opt elf attack attack right if this as result result Okay, um, are this the same examples or not? Okay, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Where is part two? Okay, part two. Okay, so we start with it's the same example, right? Um, so, like, kind of if I do. Play example one, but play part two. Huh. No, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, because I missed this up. And then I didn't relate. Okay, uh, class long can be cast to. Fair enough. Probably here as well. Okay, so attack is 15. And outcome is four nine eighty eight. Okay, this looks correct. The second example attack is four, and the answer is very fucking different. I am going to return the hit points. Okay, so second example, 200. No, this is strong second example. Is it? This is the second example. Yes, yeah, second example is actually example three. Okay. It's 
three one two eight four. Yeah, it looks the third example needs fifteen and the answer is fucking wrong. <laughs> okay, this is what we are going to do. We are going to play problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the elves need attack of 14. And the answer is five, four, three, two, six. It's not the right answer. Too high. Okay. Um, five, four, three, two, six. Okay, so the problem is we are calculating the numbers wrong, right? Um, we are calculating the numbers wrong, the number of turns. Remember, like in the first example, uh, in the first uh, part, we get the correct amount of answers, uh, at, um, sorry, the correct amount of turns but um, except to the first example, right? And I think, and here we also get the wrong amount of turns for example three. No, example three is all right. For example, four. Yes, we have 36 turns, but it's actually 37 turns. The HP is correct, but turns we're calculating them wrong. Okay, so uh, must be 37 by 94. Okay, and in this game must be 47. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me grab something to eat and we'll figure this out. This is probably off by one error. Um, Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this full screen and uh, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to make this full screen. And I am going to it's going to stop eventually. And now it's not going to stop. Fuck. <laughs> I uh I fucked up. It should be like this. Okay, um, let's start. 
let's make it normal normal window and def loop what's going on uh -huh. okay so now it should play on repeat and i'm going to get some t and we'll figure it out so almost there right we have algorithm it works a reasonable amount of time i guess like we need 10 iterations or 15 iterations it's fine uh, but we off by one uh, for turns and that's what we need to nail
Окей, okay. Evening Sun. Uh, he doesn't. Okay, let's make it. Yeah, this is good enough. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's stop this nonsense. We'll stop, right, at some point. Yeah, it stopped. Okay, cool. Um, oh, no, 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 I was gonna. Yeah, okay, so, um, so we need to figure out when the game stops. And for that, we need to Okay, so I think the problem is in here, right? So maybe this is a trick. Combat only ends when a unit finds no targets during its turn, right? Uh, so basically what it means... Kind of like... This is example that we get wrong, right? No, this is extra example that we get right. Okay, so I think the problem is like uh, in their term, if um, say, if, so let's say something like this happens, not actually something like Something like this happens, but let's say this guy uh, makes final hit. Let's actually simulate this. We have simulation, right? We have, we can simulate it. Uh, we need example one, and let's make it until the final. Okay, so you see, like this guy has five lives left, right? And there are two skeletons that will attack it. So this one will make three damage, so it will leave two, and then this one will make little damage, right? Uh, and then games ends because the next game nothing happens, nobody can attack or move. That's my implementation, right? But what if it would be different and, well, for example, this guy makes a little blow to this guy, right? Then we still have this skeleton to go in this turn, right? And this skeleton has no targets. So we actually end on this turn, not on the next turn, even though like some of the guys here moved. Um, this guy um, didn't. And this guy has no targets. So that's what we are missing, I think, right? And when, we, when I implemented like this deck, in here, this one, this this one, I believe is wrong. So it's coincidentally fixed the problem with everything else because in everything else, like here, it's special because last guy uh, makes final blow. So it, my algorithm and uh, in target implementation would work the same, right? <clears throat> in every every other example, probably. That doesn't happen. Okay, but anyways. So, no, maybe like. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, now, now this works correctly, right? So, 47. But uh, everything else works wrong. 
Okay, and we, if we have, actually, you know what, let's see, example two, right? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what happens. Who makes the final blow? So we, this guy dies, and this guy dies, and now this guy. So we have 14, we have five. Okay, so see, this and this uh, will make one hit, two hits, and then this guy turn, and he has a target, so it has to end. But we don't count for that. Which is hard. Well, maybe we can throw exception. <laughs> Make turn the unit. Okay, so now we need to figure out what, what to do with it, right? Um, so basically make turn, make move all units. So the exit condition in our case is this, and this exit condition is wrong. So maybe, you know what, maybe we just make uh, all a flag in the game, which says over, okay? Then we can actually put turn in here as well. Don't need turn here. Okay, uh, over. Okay, so the flag is over. Next, what we're going to do next. Um, we actually before make turn unit, right? When unit exists. So first that we need to, we know this unit exists, right? Um, actually, you know what I want to have a function. Okay, um, yeah, okay, so what we need to make here, so we know the unit exists, right? So it's not killed yet. Now we So we filter units of the game. Right, we filter units of the game trying to trying to actually can remove just remove units of the same type. So basically this leaves us as enemies. Right. Uh, if there is no enemy, a sock game over draw. Mm 
machen. And end condition is actually Will other units make well the they will make something but that doesn't matter really. Um we don't incorporate turn actually. Okay, so this will make return. We don't need turn here. Is our game? There are units left, right? We take units. Oh, I believe. Fuck. Okay, it turns to turn 48, right? 38. 47. Okay, so let's compare. So this is. So 47, whatever. 37, 38, 47, 36. So we need uh, to subtract 1, right? 35. But at least it's consistent, and this is what's important. 54. So we fixed this. Yeah, we need to subtract one. Okay, so let turn. True, 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 true. Cool. Uh, and now for play part two. Okay, so example one, part two. Uh, where is part two? Kind of. Right, and then example two is actually we don't know. Example three is three one two eight three. Uh, wait, what? Oh yeah. Okay, and example four. Three, two, three, four. I think we we fix this. We fixed this. Mm. Example five. 
okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, we fixed. See, five, four, three, two, six. It's the same answer. And it didn't work last time. Fuck. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Thirteen gives us one death, which is, which is unacceptable, right? And playing with fourteen gives us zero deaths, which is acceptable in this case. Five, four. Three, two, six, five, four, three, two, six. Okay, I'm like. Okay, so what do we want? <laughs> wow, so people are drawing. Wow, this is super neat. What? I'm not sure why would you need that, but but kind of cool. Wow. Terminal visualization. Okay, so people are way more inventive than I am. Okay. Uh, how do we search in here? Aok day fifteen. Okay. Let's see. Uh, probably like this.
Okay, this looks like something. Unit dies. Another unit moves into its place. What? And it will be moved again. What? No, yeah. Well, I can imagine. I can imagine this here uh, because we don't store any IDs. Okay, so one unit dies. We basically, we check if somebody is alive by checking if it's in coordinates. But <laughs> no, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Um, so should we make IDs? Should make IDs, right? Should make IDs. Huh. Okay, let's make uh, unit IDs. Um, Start with ID zero. Um, mm -hmm. And unit will have ID here. Let's start with one actually. Okay. So we now have IDs, right? And um, make turn. So this is a uh, liveness check. Didn't change anything. <laughs> um, because this checks if the unit is still alive, right? It's unit is still alive if it is still the same coordinate. It might have different health, so that's why we can compare units. But well, actually, you know what? We can make attack. This is actually quite wrong, right? So we have a new unit, actually, right? Your life. No enemies. Well, 
We're using old unit to move attack instead of new unit because it could be damaged. No, it doesn't help, but the number changed. Huh. Unit moved, uh, it will be the, still the same unit, right? Like, seems like it. Okay, 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 five, four, one, eight, eight. But it's not the right answer, right? It's the wrong answer. Let's try it anyway. That's the right answer. Wait. So why is this number here? Okay, but we we figured out what was wrong, right? And we painted all the cups. This has been going for six and a half hours. It's crazy. But 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 we did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, um, should we make it like prettier? Not even sure if Should we make it uh, runnable from a console? Basically, it could be, it could run, right? Uh, because if you just don't start this, if you call play problem, for example, I just want to make it uh, input output uh, the same the same format as. It is for other days. So basically, what uh, if Otherwise, we can actually make day fifteen. Yeah, let's make. You know what? Let's make 
this. Let's make day 15 GUI. Like this. Day 15 GUI. Right. And move everything about like arrays, bit set, files, pass, we don't need here, like this, and remove this, and this, okay? So we have problem, we have position, unit, wall, font, okay, so font goes in here, game, parts, window, game, think this definitely goes in here on point definitely goes to GUI um, make window goes to GUI surrounding adjacent enemy make attack make move make turn unit make turn play so we only like Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to make day 15, part 1, part 2, part 1, part 2, part 2, actually part 2 problem, like this, right? Part one, part one, part one. Okay. And then all this goes actually this and this goes in here. here and the only problem that we have is with this game right so technically we don't need um, a pointer here like uh, but we wanted it for visualization right so game we want it for visualization and I can uh, have uh, on turn callback actually on turn game game game. Mm -hmm. this yeah. like this okay so now if we call part one on turn is new okay yeah on, well
Okay. This was the sensor. Kind of, right? Yeah, and uh, part two. Okay, yeah, uh, so this works, kind of. Yeah, this kind of works. Okay, cool. Um, now we need to make sure This is what we need. Um, okay, and we need this GUI. We need a game here. Different scope bytes. Kind of need um, here. We probably want this. Okay, and here what we want is. What we actually want is year fourteen, day fifteen, as day fifteen, right? So what we do is we actually Okay, kind of works. Um, we need 
how do I need, I need this, on top of everything, okay, something is wrong, bones can be cast, yeah. Yeah, play. Wait, what? Yeah, play. Okay. Okay, so this is what we get. Okay. Let's try to connect. Yeah. So GUI kind of works, right? It also kind of works. Okay, um, we need to print. It's like this, but kind of works. Kind of works. And I don't know. Well, let's check it out again. Over here, um, connect. And so let's say we change color. This is square. Let's say we change ground color. Yeah, it's it start kind of it started to work, right? Like evaluating the whole file now doesn't break this thing here, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, what do we need? What else do we need? We probably need. No, I don't need anything else. That's it, I think. That's it. That's it. Um, 
which is That's it. Yeah, uh, that's it. Let's kill this. Kill this and commit. Okay. Um, yeah. Day fifteen. Day fifteen. Part two. 6.45, uh, thank you everyone who joined, there's a question, God bless go format, uh, so many reformat nonsense, can embed images into the binary, uh, there's no binary really, it's Java program, so you can embed uh, images into jar file and then distribute single jar, jar file. Java knows how to run jar files. Yeah, you can do that, of course. Um, we're not doing it here, but it is possible. Cool, 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 cool. I think it's it was very cool. And fa failure modes are really subtle. I, I wonder why, like, was the problem different? Because this is like very different numbers from what I'm getting. Like, this is a different too. Yeah, this is not a well formulated problem, I think. But it's curious why correct answer is different now. Maybe there was a bug, right? Maybe there was a bug. Okay, anyways, we committed everything. Uh, we, I'll probably upload, split it uh, into three files for one file for each task and upload it to YouTube. And yeah, thank you for joining me. This is, was like long, but fun. And yeah, I wanted to write the game for a long time and finally I had a chance, so I'm excited. Thank you again for joining. Uh, that's it, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.